Hi everyone. So I wanted to do a recent favorites for you. Um, I'm in a different spot, obviously, because I didn't feel like cleaning up the other room and I thought I'd try to see if I could get enough light from this sliding glass door that I'm kind of far away from so I could be right up next to the book so you wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to clean up down here. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> so I, the thing I don't like about monthly favorites is that I don't like kind of scheduling around the time of day and a time of day around the the calendar and I'm not like inspired to do them around you know the beginning or very end of a month in general so sometimes I'll think about oh gosh I've been using all this stuff re regularly but it's like in the middle of the month and I'm like well I'll save it till the end and do a monthly favorites and then I don't so we're gonna call this a few recent favorites so one thing that um I definitely, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have probably seen the same kind of look, the same kind of shadows, quite a lot, um, especially if you're looking at my little stories thing, because do people call them snaps? I don't know. Whatever. Um, mustard, yes. I'm still digging the mustards a lot, and like a shiny lid, and then a mustardy crease, and then that's it, and I did that get ready with me, same kind of thing. So I did buy um, three, are they down here? Three shadows from ColourPop. So this kind of light matte one, this shimmery, like duochrome-y, it's kind of like a green gold situation, and this mustard so this is paper tiger um i don't i'll put the names of the other ones down below and also still really loving the makeup geek uh shadows that i have also max soba which is kind of a yellowy brown uh desert sands latte that's um what's that cherry cola high tea which i think was that the color that uh tantalia christine collaborated on magic act on the lid i've just really been liking these shadows, also the Anastasia um, Modern, Renaissance, Modern Renaissance palette. Today I'm wearing uh, Sweet Peach and one of the really warm browns. I've just been digging the warm eye look, especially on the kind of mustardy side of things. Another thing that I've been liking more recently, specifically, so just like the past week or so, is the Urban Decay Vice uh, lipstick palettes. I have both of them. Um, I don't know if they're both still available from various retailers, but they marked down to, I think, $20 now, which I think is a great deal. Today I'm wearing Conspiracy, which seems like it's just going to be kind of a bronze color, but it's actually got this kind of plum magenta pink base, so you can kind of get the more plummy aspect and then build up the shimmer somewhere, whatever, or just kind of focus on the more plummy undertone, really pretty. Anyway, so, um, I, you know, you can always mix your lipsticks, but I feel like when they're in a palette form, it's just so much easier, and it's easier for me not to go super heavy-handed, so I can just kind of tap it in. Uh, yesterday, I really liked the look of um, 1993, kind of all over the lips, very lightly pressed in, and then I went over kind of the center area with Blackmail, and it just, I thought it came out really good. It was like this kind of bruised lip look, and it was very kind of faded at the edges and just looked really undone and I don't know I was really digging that um another thing that I've been appreciating lately especially since I'm sick again is this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 I hate the pump on this because I always get way too much product so I waste so much of it but this goes over the area around my nose that I've been that gets wiped off all the time during the day so nicely even though that area is dry and in places really flaky it will go over it and of course it will catch on some of the flakes but it looks so much better than any other concealer. It just really sits on that dry skin well, which is funny because it's a long wear concealer. You would kind of expect that it would not sit on that very well, but it actually does pretty well. Um, also kind of in the face, the face realm, this uh, L'Oreal True Match Powder in W1. I have uh, gone through one of these before quite a while ago, and now I've actually hit pan on this one, which is a little bit su surprising. I've been using this to set my makeup when I have more of a sheer base on, and also with Touch Up, it, um, it doesn't look super, super matte. It just looks very smooth and it's it's a lovely powder. I would I hate the compact just because it looks ugly. <laughs> um 
So if they had a prettier packaging, I think this would be probably my favorite powder, but I just don't like the way it looks, this ugly gray packaging. I can't stand it, but the product inside is really nice, so I've been really liking that lately, and normally I would use a translucent powder, and I think, you know, the best kind of lasting power I can get is from the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder, but I don't love the way that that goes on my face all the time. I like how it makes the makeup last longer. That True Match powder doesn't help the lasting power as well, um, but... I just like the finish it gives me and a little bit extra coverage if I've gone pretty light on the foundation. So this is kind of a funny one. This came with a gift with purchase uh, from Ulta and it's an Ico uh, fat liquid eyeliner in black and I thought well what am I going to use this for because I don't really do liquid liner very often. I have quite a few other black liquid liners. I don't really want to open this one, but for some reason I opened it on a whim and I used it to tight line on a whim and realized it was really good for it. And it's just so black and so liquidy that it actually, you can use the tip to kind of get in between the lashes. Um, you know, I have very like glowing white skin in that lash area. So if I don't put anything down and I don't have much eyeshadow going on, it's the mascara just kind of gets lost in this sea of whiteness and just putting this in it's so fast and so dark and lasts well but it doesn't have that side effect that like using something like a pencil liner where it will get so gooped up in your lashes um, that it's just hard to remove at night so that's what was kind of getting me away from using like a pencil liner for tight lining just because it was so messy at night to remove um this comes off easily it's kind of like using a cake liner um like the laura mercier cake liner but with so much less effort you know you don't get, have to get a brush and water and just the right consistency and whatnot this just goes on and it stays on so i've been really happy with this i think it's waterproof i'm not sure dramatic long wear carbon black it says i think it's waterproof anyway i never would have bought that never but i'm probably gonna we'll see but I think I'm going to stick with it and just, I've been wearing it every day for weeks now. Yeah. So I'm still loving the MAC Giga Black um, Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Um, I actually have it on the top and bottom today and I feel like it came out pretty well. Um, normally I just use this for my bottom lashes. There is something about this formula plus this wand that does my bottom lashes just like how I want them. They don't get goopy. I don't make a mess. Um, it's like a tubing style format, so it's never going to move. Um, yeah, I really like this stuff and I actually repurchased it full price, which is shocking since I tend to go for drugstore mascaras, but everything is changing people because another one of my favorites, this is insane to me, is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I got this in that same gift with purchase um, from Ulta. That the, Those gift with purchases I've really done well with. Like they worked out well for me this time, which is so surprising. Um, so this has a more of a standard a traditional bristle, spoolie, wand, whatever, but it it is surprisingly, noticeably more black than a lot of my other mascaras, and it also builds so nicely, and I can get just the right amount of volume without it being clumpy, and it doesn't clean up as nicely at the end of the day, as most of the my kind of favorite mascaras are, which I don't really have favorites, but ones I tend to repurchase a lot, like the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I love how that formula washes off with no smearing, you know, with just washing my face. That comes off super easily. This doesn't come off as easily, but it makes my lashes look so much nicer than really anything I've tried in a long time with such little effort that I am loving this, and I am strongly considering buying either, um, maybe I'll just, I don't know, I can't decide. I have a hard time just actually shelling out the money for full price, even though I would get it with a discount because Ulta's got their 20% off uh, going on right now um, for Platinum members. I don't know, I would think about it. But um, I think that Sephora's Lash Stash kit that comes with the five deluxe samples and then a voucher for a full size, I believe it has the Urban Decay Perversion, like I think it's coming out soon. Um, 
and also Lancome Hypnos Drama, which is another one I really like despite the funky rose smell. <sighs> and last thing, I, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm on the fence on that. I want to buy it full size just because it's working so well for me, but full size mascara. I'm sorry, the color's going to be all wacky because I'm using daylight. Normally, I use just regular lights instead of daylight because of these issues, and I feel like I'm looking, as my friend said, ratchet, ratchet face. I feel I've got a bit of the ratchet face going on. Um, you can really see that shadow of the, what do they call that, that tear trough? Ooh. And it look, bleh, the lighting is really cool because it's a cloudy day, it's very overcast. Um, who knows if this video is ever going to make it anywhere. Alright, last thing, and I don't, I, it's hard to talk about, <coughs> it's hard to even talk about this one because it seems to have been discontinued, and it's the Sephora Pro Crease Brush number 10. I've said, I've talked about it a lot of times, and I just love how my makeup, how my eyeshadow goes on with this brush. It applies it perfectly for me. I love it more than any other eye brush ever. I think, perhaps. That's a bold statement, but yes, love this. I bought it when it was on sale. I thought about buying it a bunch of times and didn't, and now it's gone. And I wish I had bought it once, realized how much I loved it, and bought it before it disappeared. But if this ever comes back in stock, I don't think it will. If it does, I'm getting another one. I keep saying this. I'm pretty sure it's gone forever. But you never know with Sephora. Sometimes things just like magically come back in stock after they've been gone for a long time maybe we can hope so anyway that's i think <coughs> i think that's all of my recent favorites um i will i didn't bring it with me but just kind of an honorable mention to the lancome um 10 Edal ultra i try to pay attention when other people say it like lisa eldridge obviously says it right um i think she says 10 i always say taunt i know i say it wrong I'm trying to fix it, but it's hard to remember. Uh, the Taunt, Taunt, Indol Ultra, <laughs> after I just try, oh, and 90N. The, the color isn't perfect. It's what I'm wearing today. I mean, it's a little dark. My neck is just like glowing white, so what can I do? Um, but the formula is beautiful. It goes on nicely. It wears so well. It behaves so well with the oily areas and the dry areas and the flaky areas. It's just... It's an amazing formula. If you can find a color, they have a lot of colors in that formula. I would so, so recommend it. It's a long time favorite. I only have like a quarter of the bottle left and I'm going to finish it. And after I, you know, use other things and then come back to it, I'm like, ah, oh, this is such a good formula. I wish they had a light yellow color because then it would be, I mean, I think it would be hard for me to resist buying more foundations, but I feel like, it could be the one and only I need just because the formula works so well for me. It's just the color is not great. So that's my honorable mention. Long time favorite. Okay, so I think that's about it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me know if you have any things that you've been loving lately or things you haven't been liking. Um, I don't know if I have like any flops. I just didn't even think about it before making this video. Um, if I think of anything, maybe I'll put it in the description box. So I, yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. I feel like this is a super outdated way of doing thumbnails, but I just can't stop because I don't know what else I would put up there if I didn't do this. <laughs>